As part of efforts to eradicate poverty in Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari has inaugurated a National Steering Committee of the National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategy. The committee, which will be chaired by Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, is aimed at lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in the next 10 years. Our correspondent, Folashade Ogunide, tells us more. With a bleak economic focus by global economic agencies, President Muhammad Obari is leaving no stand unturned in his quest for solutions. No thanks to COVID-19, Nigeria's weak economy has become more vulnerable with 40% of Nigerians, that is 83 million people living below poverty line. The mandate of the newly established National Steering Committee of the National Poverty Reduction with Growth Strategy is to resolve to an appreciable level the poverty situation in the country. This journey began in January 2021 when I directed the Chairman of the Provincial Economic Advisory Council and Secretary to the Government of the Federation to collaboratively work together to articulate an edifice that will lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in 10 years. The process of designing this inclusive poverty reduction strategy recognized and addressed past mistakes as well as laid the foundation for a sustainable poverty reduction through the wide range of consultations held at all levels of government, development partners, the private sector, as well as the civil society. President Buhari charges the committee to use India's success in alleviating poverty as its benchmark. The major challenge before the National Steering Committee is to translate our good intention into positive impact of every Nigerian so that we create an appreciative impact on the poverty situation in the country. In enumerating the strategies to actualize this goal, the chairman of the committee and vice president Yemi Oshimbaju said job creation, increased taxation and economic diversification is key to economic growth. The strategic measures in respect of industrialization, economic diversification, agricultural modernization and trade will lead to greater productivity. Increased tax revenues from a more productive economy will in turn provide the fiscal resources for increased investment in the delivery of public services, infrastructure and social security programs. Thus, this strategy is hinged on a vision of greater productivity and efficient redistribution. With a double-digit inflation rate, which has pushed an estimated 7 million Nigerians below the poverty line in 2020 alone, the Committee on Poverty Reduction has its job cut out for it. Fulashadi Ogurindi, TV360 News.